previously on Anum Homestead. Welcome back everybody to A&M Homestead. I tell you what, it's been so busy this week and it's been really hot. Uh, to start off, uh, we this this past week what we have done is a variety of things and we just haven't videoed just due to we're both working long hours and just didn't have really the time or the gumption really to just a uh, video we're both tired it's been really hot this week for us and um, so we're just trying to get things done so I just want I want to start with uh, what we started with this week was we actually put in our Haas tools uh, irrigation system and actually actually this year we actually did upgrade uh, we ordered some shutoff valves for every single individual row so then also uh, we do have some a couple of beds that are not um, planted yet uh, we do have like the extra pepper plants that we have which I don't think we have we may have some Marcia may correct me on that and I'll let you know somewhere down here and we also are gonna be planting some eggplant and uh, we're still waiting on our sweet potato uh, slips to actually start growing more so that way we can uh, transplant them into a jar, let them grow roots, and then that way you can plant them. We seem like we're a little bit behind on our sweet potatoes, but we're going to do the best we can. And it um, seemed like we had a pretty good harvest last year. So, uh, Also, uh, our next thing is we actually did, we moved the pigs, and uh, we moved them closer to the big barn. And uh, what reason why we did that is just so that way they have more shade because it's more open out there. It's um, it's kind of like a, a cattle lot, and um, so there's, I mean, they're limited on their shade, and hence these pigs are have black hair, that uh, they just kind of absorb the heat a whole lot more. So I've been going out there, and I've been using a garden hose on them every once in a while. I'll cool them off, and we also got them a kitty pool, just a small one, so to kind of give them like a wallow that they could just lay in if they want. I haven't yet seen them use it, but I know they do use it because the thing has been beat up pretty good. They're pigs. They're destructive. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. But, I mean, anything to keep them from, you know, not handling the heat very well. So, I mean, any, any part that we can do that's simple just to help them make it through the, the hot summer that we're about to have. So, also, a, an, another thing that we just finished up this weekend is our water hydrant uh, we had to dig that thing out it was leaking and we ended up taking it out and it was cracked right on the weep the weep is right at the bottom of your water hydrant and what that does is whenever you close that it the rest of the water runs out down at the bottom and so that way you know it's a frost free hydrant so all that water drains out that way it doesn't freeze so uh, it ended up cracking. I found that out when I dug it out. It was cracked. So we, what we ended up doing was we just went ahead and we just capped it off. Uh, we don't want to have to mess with the water hydrant out here. Um, if we need water, then uh, we could always use our well for water for like washing stuff or whatever. So it's really not a big deal. So and there is also a water hydrant out in the, the big barn. So I could still use that one. So, uh, the speaking of the well, uh, we do transfer water from the well to the IBC tote whenever there is not, there hasn't been enough efficient rainfall to actually water the garden. 
So what I do is I just put my little sump pump that I have in the IBC tote for the garden. I put it down in the well and hence I just pump it into the IBC tote. It's a bit of a hassle, but you know, getting free water for our garden instead of using our water hydrants, you know, that's so much better. And um, so we're just trying to make it be more self-sufficient in that aspect of it, and that's our goal. So, uh, and also speaking of the garden, um, more of the garden, we actually uh, put more grass on the garden just to keep the weed pressure down. And we put more grass on the potatoes because they are growing tremendously. So we're pretty excited about that. We don't have as big of a row for potatoes this year as we did last year and we're okay with that. I'm saying with the sweet potatoes it's going to be a smaller row and we're okay with that because we still have some sweet potatoes from last year still and just a few of them and they're still holding up pretty good so uh, and they taste delicious. So it's everything's going pretty good right now. I just I made me a, a little list so I wouldn't forget anything. So the next one is uh, the chickens. Uh, the chickens, they have been struggling right now. Uh, we got these little gnats, they call buffalo gnats, and uh, they're very annoying. They fly around by the droves and uh, they'll fly into your ears, your eyes, up your nose, and uh, they'll bite you, and it, it's not very comfortable. And um, so they're harassing the chickens a lot. So it's kind of stressing them out. We're still getting a pretty good egg production out of them, which as um, last year it kind of dropped because of the gnats. But this year, since they're more out in the wide open, I don't think the gnats are going to be as bad as what they were at the other homestead where they were in the shade a lot, and the gnats like the shade whenever it's hot. So also to finish it up, what we did with, with the chickens is uh, we actually... We tried it out last year and it actually worked and we used some car air fresheners, the vanilla. I guess vanilla somehow repels the gnats, they don't like it. So we tried it last year and it was somewhat successful. I mean you can't, can't get rid of all the gnats and um, so I did put a couple of them up for them and a lot of the times they spend a lot of their time in the coop all day. And they'll come out to get this a quick bite to eat and a drink of water and they'll just go right back in and they'll stay in their majority of the day. That's what they do. They did that at the other homestead. They're doing it now. There's only just a couple out right now. So that's what it is right now. And it's just it's been crazy around here and just haven't had time to pick up a camera. But um everything's going good. We're just seem like we just kicked it up a notch or shift it into another gear because it is gardening season full-blown gardening season and it's everything's going to be okay you know just just grow as much as you can this year be prepared think it think ahead now things are going to be cheaper to purchase now than what they may be in like two or three months and um, just just prepare for things and don't be scared and just pray a lot that um, wisdom will come to our government, they'll make the right decisions, and that God will just keep our country safe with everything that's going on. And we're just going to end it right there. I just want to thank you, everybody. Uh, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I just want to say thank you, appreciate you, God bless. And all the ones that have been here from the beginning, just thank you, God bless. Thank you for continuing to watch our channel that uh, we continue to grow and that we just grow as a community and there will be some newer things coming up. Uh, I'll be asking you all some questions. So, until next time, talk to you all later.